Good morning, Dr. Eric Care, Fanwood Back Relief Center, offering convenient, affordable neck and back relief for the Fanwood, Scotch Plains, and Plainfield area. Today, we're going to talk about migraine headaches. We've been having a lot of patients coming in with headaches recently, so I forgot I'd, I'd address some uh, nutritional approaches to migraine headaches. Migraine headaches usually present with throbbing, pulsating, nauseating feelings. Sometimes there's sensitivity to light. Um, so, uh, you know, the light will bother and cause the migraine to get worse. Um, again, we talked about nausea, even vomiting can be an issue, um, and you get that pounding, pulsating, throbbing feeling. The underlying cause of uh, migraines is, is not well completely understood. Well, there are some things point to genetics, family history, uh, chemical imbalances, and uh, brain issues, particularly serotonin, um, in, the, in particular environmental factors, weather allergens, uh, hormonal disturbances or hormonal changes appear to play a part. Uh, these are some of the many reasons why somebody will develop migraine headaches. Um, sometimes it's related to imbalances in the spine, irritation on the nerves, uh, that can also cause um, you know, headaches and migraines. Uh, medications are sometimes good for temporary use, but obviously prolonged use it can, can become damaging to other parts of your body. Um, so we try, to, we try to tell our patients, look for more of a holistic, uh, natural approach, whether it's chiropractic, physical therapy, uh, or nutritional approaches, which we're gonna talk about. Some uh, patients with migraines will have sensitivity to, to touch, uh, food cravings and hallucinations, um, also alterations of sound and smell. Uh, the most common food, foods that trigger are 75% chocolate, you know, I know, that's terrible. Um, cheese is at 48%, citrus fruits are at 30%, and alcohol, which is at 25%. Other uh, factors will be chemicals such as uh, cured meat, um, excuse me, um, uh, MSG, uh, aspartame, artificial sweeteners, um, and then other things like cured meats, like I mentioned before, snack foods, uh, dairy products, dyes, coffee, tea, cola nuts, the list goes on and on. Uh, but you kind of get the point of where the major contributing factors are. Um, one of the, the things that I've researched and found is that uh, patients with migraine head headaches are often deficient in magnesium. So if you are experiencing migraines, one of the s simplest things you can do is increase your magnesium intake. Uh, magnesium, you can take it in supplement form, but it's also found naturally in, in foods like spinach, nuts, and whole grains. Um, Magnesium is also important not only in helping to prevent migraines, but it's also good a, as a muscle and nerve uh, function nutrient. Uh, it also helps to regulate blood pressure and uh, regulate blood sugar, uh, glucose in particular. Um, so magnesium supplements or naturally occurring in food can both help patients uh, with migraines and also can help to uh, diminish the, the intensity, frequency, and duration of those headaches. So these are just some of the things that we found um, that are useful for our patients and that in a little bit of research found on, on the internet. Um, let's see my notes here. Um, other things uh, that also help to support um, or help to prevent migraine headaches are B2, which is riboflavin, uh, melatonin, and CoQ enzyme uh, 10 are also good at managing patients with migraine headaches. Of course, um, if these nutritional approaches are not working, uh, like I said before, we have great success in our office uh, from a chiropractic standpoint uh, in the use of you know, working on the muscles of the base of the neck um, that attach to the shoulders, um, also making sure that the spine is in its best alignment and functioning properly. Um, we also have other treatments in the office like class four laser, which can help to decrease inflammation and increase blood flow to the head, which will help with the migraine headaches as well. Um, all of these things are very natural approaches. Other things that are useful is stretching the head and the neck, uh, making sure those tissues are nice and elastic and they're, they're, you know, they're getting the proper nourishment of blood and oxygen. Um, also some light exercise as well for the upper neck and shoulder area. Um, so that's all we have for today. These are some of the nutritional approaches that I thought of, put together. If you have any other questions regarding this, if you're suffering with migraines, please give us a call. We can help you so you don't have to pop pills all the day, all the time, which obviously is not good for your health. Uh, have a great day, and hopefully this video is useful, and we will talk to you next time. Enjoy.